Hey people, and welcome back. My name is Resor, and today we're gonna play some All more F1 22, where we just started as being a team principal, and we are on our way to race in Bahrain. Great to see so uh, yeah, uh, last time we did a, a small introduction event. into the menus it's and Friday. what you so can actually do and manage in F1 22. But yeah, today we're gonna actually race. So uh, yeah, let's start with that right away. Okay, so we're gonna do some free practice first. Well, let's see how this uh, how this works. Let's continue. Over here is our race preparation area. This is where you can make any changes you need ahead of the upcoming practice session. Rest assured the team have already prepared the cars for practice. When you're ready, we can continue to the practice session. Okay, let's have a quick overview first. Before we're, before we're gonna do anything. So, yeah, obviously they need to uh, acclimate to the track first, both of them. Car parts knowledge, yeah, well, we installed those new uh, floors, so that at least one of them, in this case, Car Driver 1, Daniel Ricciardo, will test that new floor. And we need to work on the setup. And then we got a performance bonus. And I think that's like related as in the Formula 1 games uh, as we use the career modus and we can spend those points later. I'm not sure how it works like that, but we'll see. But all car parts are fitted on both cars. We've got a run plan. So both cars are ready. So uh, let's go do the first practice. During race weekends, you can decide whether you want to manage the practice sessions yourself or whether to hand over control. Well, since it's our first race or a weekend as team principal, I'm going to direct everything myself. As it's your first race weekend, you should let the team oh. handle the practice session. Okay, well, <laughs> there goes my plan down the drain. <laughs> Okay, so they're gonna we're gonna simulate two qualifying, sure. Let's see how things develop after this. Oh, no results. Hello and thank oh. you for joining us as our race weekend unfolds. Free practice has concluded and qualifying awaits. Teams will be taking the data they've gathered from free practice into I don't know the data. today as they try to give themselves the best chance possible going into tomorrow's race. But focus right now needs what, to be it's on the with that flashlight, by the way. Setting the best <laughs> lap time possible and working their way up the grid. There's not much left to say, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. We shall, we shall. Ah, okay, so here we got the practice three results. Ferrari on top together with Red Bull in 3 and 4. Well, Felri Bottas seems to surprise us. The fifth place, Mercedes on the back. So, if we take a look at our drive, we've got Lennon Norris on 10 and Daniel Ricciardo on 14. So, that's pretty similar to what we see on television in real life. So, okay. Could have been coming straight from television. And where we expect. To be like with the Aston Martin and Williams on the back, yeah. To help maximize our driver's performance, the team have them work on three goals during practice: track acclimatization, car parts knowledge, and setup confidence. If you manage the session yourself, you might get an even better performance from the drivers for the rest of the weekend. Okay, so yeah, they have the benefit of managing everything yourself. Now we simulated everything uh, because, yeah, because they wanted us to do like that. Sure, no problem. But um, yeah, let's do the test days ourselves in the next weekend. Okay, so where do we go from here? At least they're familiar with the track. Car part knowledge are both on 66%. Daniel Ricardo has a set of confidence of 66% also. And uh, Landon Norris has a slightly better governance up to 72 let's see what we can do with those performance bonuses okay so if we 
take a look at control, accuracy, cornering, breaking, reactions. It went all up a little bit for Daniel Ricciardo. And also a little bit from Lana Norris, like two or three points, so that's uh, that's decent. Right, time for qualifying. Our results here will determine where we start on the grid for Sunday's race. Qualifying takes place over three knockout rounds, and only the fastest drivers will advance. Yeah, okay, we both time. we are familiar with the rules. Okay, so we're on Saturday, it's clear sky, no rain expected, so that's going to be an easy ride as far. And there is a difference of like, yeah, what is it, a little less than 5 tenths of a second between Daniel Ricciardo and Lando Norris. We are going to do a flying lap, at least that's the run plan, can I change that? Okay, so we're going to... Okay, let's, let's do that. We're gonna do uh, two flying laps. And that's only for car two. We are running on softs now. All car parts are fitted, confidence. So this is also the last chance we can do anything about the setup we having right now. And we also gonna change the run plan for Daniel Ricciardo and we're gonna also do here two flying laps okay so that should be good same as practice the team can handle qualifying for you if you like let's get you handled yes I will this round, though, just to make sure you're feeling confident yeah you got that right I really want to control this one okay so we're gonna manage the first qualifying session drivers need to be set in their fastest possible lap times so we can advance to the next round of qualifying the slowest yeah, five cars the rules, will be knocked the out keep a careful eye on time remaining yeah the time limit on qual right then let's, let's get see how this goes okay do we have a timer yes we have a timer of 18 minutes on that right corner of the screen okay let's see how this works Send out, I guess. Everyone set up. And here we go. 80 minutes for qualification one. It sounds sounds a little bit off. All right, so we're watching Daniel Ricciardo. On this outlap. Okay, so I'm looking at a lot of information right now. And we're also gonna send out Norris. Each car is fitted with a number of onboard cameras. So you can see yeah, the action okay. as it happens. You can also use the map view if you like. It gives you a good overview of the whole track and all the cars. Remember you're managing two drivers throughout the session. So make sure yeah, to we're gonna try that. of them. So here we can play with all the camera settings. Okay, so... North is also on track right now. Okay, so everything is automatic mode right now. We can also do like manual control. We're gonna have full control over the pace, lift, coast, era strategies, and so on. This will only last for the duration of this run, and then we need to. Put it back in manual for the next session. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on automatic for now just to see what happens and how everything works before we screw anything up. <laughs> okay, so now I know how to switch between Ricciardo and Norris. And there we have the tire temps and 
wear and tear and such. You can say we want to avoid the curves or driving clean air. Yeah, well, there are no other people on track right now. Yeah, well, in fact, they are. Let's go to the timings. Yeah, this is not going to bring me anything. Okay, here we got the team command. Yeah, well, they're far away from each other, so I guess they're not going to fight each other. Let's switch to Ricciardo. Let's see what we can do there. So Ricciardo is going to start with his first flying lap. Here we go. Okay, first run for Ricciardo. Let's see how he does. Certainly, there's so much to look at. <laughs> Twenty-seven point four so far for his first sector. Second sector forty one point eight. Fastest so far. Yeah, well, obviously we were the first on the track. I also want to keep an eye on Norris though. Nope. Oh, I want to keep on automatic mode. Switch back to uh, Ricciardo. Now we're actually looking at Norris. But I want to check on Ricciardo, and he did a 133.1. And now I want to call him back in. Or is he working on his second? Fast run. Tires are still good, around 90%. We really need to learn how this works. Okay, so he's working on his second run, at least a cooldown, and then they're gonna do another set, another run. We're already dropping a little bit back. Bottas fastest right now with a 31.7. Okay, Ricciardo speeding up again, and getting on with his second full run enable DRS going to the timings let's have a close -like look on that last time it was a 27.1 if I'm not mistaken let's see what we can do here Okay, we got some traffic in front of us. Okay, we got that clear. Okay, so now we got a 27.3. Should be doing a little bit better than that. Wanna have a closer look, so we're gonna stick with Picciardo for now. Doris is also on the run for his second try. Whoa! Wow! Oh, that was a little enthusiastic. Ooh. What happened there?
That really looked like a lot of understeer. Okay, long straight. Both sectors are green. Yeah, I didn't expect anything purple right now. So we're looking at 1.9 and it becomes... And it stays one... Oh. Well, the first flying lap could have gone better, but never mind. Keep an eye on the stand-ins throughout the session to make sure we stay out of the knockout zone. Right then. That qualifying run is done, so the driver will yeah, return to the pits Yeah, because now. we did two flying laps, sure. I know everything happens so fast over a race weekend. But if you need to catch your breath, you can pause for as long as you like. Or, if things aren't moving fast enough for you, you can speed up a little. Yeah, we're gonna do it as real life, so... Okay, I want to have a quick look on Lando Norris too. Okay, where Ricciardo had two green sectors, we have two yellow sectors. So Norris is a little slower. Cross the finish line. Yeah, and I didn't. Okay, so he didn't. Uh, he didn't finish that good at least not in his last run so we're gonna call him in expected a little bit better from Norris on the second try but it is what it is let's see how we can call him in okay so they're already going in automatically okay because that's what we set up but yeah we need to have a close look on Ricciardo with a little than 10 minutes left of this session Okay, so we are, we have the full map. It's happening right now. Let's see what we can do from here. Ah. From the data view, you can see live data from the current session. Here we can see the latest lap and sector times for all drivers and an overview of their tire conditions. Here you can also view how the current session could affect the drivers and constructors championship standings. There's plenty more to dive into with the data view, so make sure you spend some time exploring. Of course, because everything is such in depth. <laughs> okay, so let's see what our drivers did. No, oh, my drivers there on top. So here we got Ricciardo. Daniel pit lane. What? Copy. Remember the pit lane speed yep. limiter. Pretty important. So as fast as oh, our driver is back in the pits. You need to reconfigure the car before we can send them back out. Let's oh, go and take sure. a look. Okay, so here we got some tire history. We can go into depth a l at a later time. So we got the qualif qualification targets, qualif qualifying targets. Excuse me. But yeah, we need to make sure that we're gonna reach Q2. So that's uh, our objective for today. So we're gonna go back and refigure Daniel Ricciardo's car. The team will make sure the run plan is updated to include refueling. So all you have to do oh. is fit some fresh tires. Here you can see all the tire compounds available this weekend. When making any changes, just be sure you're considering both the condition and the compound sure, sure. selected tire. Yeah, we know how grip and dry compounds work and wet compounds work. Don't need to tell me about that. We want maximum performance during qualifying. So let's use a fresh soft compound tire. Soft tires are the fastest. I know how it works. I know how it works. So here we got the tire allocation. That's what we just used. We're gonna put some fresh on there, but we also need to keep track of what we're using because everything is already used during the practice sessions. So that means we have a yellow one 
for the race tomorrow and we still have two fresh softs okay that's gonna affect my strategy for them tomorrow but we'll see about that later here we got a comparators on the right side of the screen we got Magnus in front of us uh, at least in front of Ricciardo and Albon behind him but yeah let's give Ricciardo a new set of fresh softs who selected them yeah we did um but now i want to swing okay run the plan that's what we did yep car parts sure run plan and then i'm going to do also two flying lap uh, let's do one flying lap for this time okay so here we can play with the front wing angle it's set at nine degrees but we want to keep them in the colored area so I'm gonna go with eight yeah the corner is gonna be a little bit more bad but bring stability yeah, we divert more than we should okay i'm not gonna let it stay at nine uh nine degrees angle no problem so then i'm gonna confirm but we also need to reconfigure norris when he has back it's gonna take less than a half a minute brilliant the car's ready to head back out at your say so it's probably best to do at least one more run before the end of the round Unless you're feeling very confident. No, yeah, I'm not feeling so far. The track will have more grip later in the round, but there will also be more traffic. It's up to you to decide when you want to send the car out. Whatever. Gets Indeed. Us through to Q2, I'm gonna wait a little longer. Gonna configure. Um, I mean, we did one. Car parts, where did I did that again? Car setup. Car parts, tires, run plan. Yeah, one flying lap after this. Okay, so the Ricciardo is all set up. I'm gonna wait for uh, Norris to come back in. Let's see if we can do a little better. Understood. So Norris is entering our. And just remind you to use the pit limiter in the pit lane. He's already in, so. A little sooner next time. Wait, what? Why is he driving in like that? What is happening? Where are the car mechanics? Okay. I expected this a little bit more detailed. Hmm. Okay, sure. Usually when you drive in like that, it means game's over, but okay. Okay, so we're gonna reconfigure Norris as well. Car parts, I believe, setup. Okay, he's driving with a slightly different setup because he has his front wing angle set at seven degrees. Okay, so there's a difference between the setup of Norris and Ricciardo. I'm not gonna change anything right now. Whatever they feel best for. And we're also gonna put him on one flying lap for our second run. That we're gonna confirm. Let's change the speed a little bit. How fast can we go? I'm gonna set him out with like with four minutes to go or something, maybe three and a half. Ricciardo is in the danger zone, at least in the danger zone as far as there's only four spots between him and the actual danger zone, but yeah, we need to keep an eye on that. Actually, in the danger zone are Revetal, Album, Stroll, Tsunoda, and Latifi, the usual suspects, I would say. I mean, you do here a 130 with Verstappen on first, and 939. So I'm gonna wait a little longer. Before I'm gonna put them out. Oh, that's not what I want. 
Okay, now I'm gonna send them out. Ooh, I hope we're not too late with that. Okay, we, they both need to push because, yeah. Yeah, well, we do a, a lap in 130. Of course, it's the out lap, but I reckon they have more than enough time to cross the finish line to start their last flying lap. Gonna keep the screen like this, and we can switch between Lando. Here's Lando. There in this and there driving Ricciardo. Warming up the tires properly. Ricciardo two. One minute left. So yeah, we're the last couple to uh, cross the finish line, so no more mistakes after this. Let's see what we can do. Let's drive with Norris. We're going to start this flying lap. Here we go. We're going to stick with him for now. They seem so slow in that chicane, but... Hmm. Okay, first sector timings. 27.9. Okay, so that session has ended. Let's see how we do. Really want to catch Magnus with another gun. Okay, so we're getting called. Those tires are too hot. Yeah, we still need to keep pushing. We only do one flying lap, so. Norris is gonna enter the main straight again. Let's see what we can do. We're both on the edge of the danger zone. We're not in it. Norris improves a little, going to 13th. What can do Ricciardo? Nothing. No improvement. Oh, well, he got. Yeah, okay, okay. So he went from 1.7 to 1.6. So we got a little bit of improvement. But at least we're not in the danger zone. Nice. Went through to Q2. Great work. In Q2, the fastest 15 cars from Q1 battle it out for only 10 places in Q3. Now let's push even harder for. Okay, good. In Q3. So, already living up to their expectations. Let's see to the data view. So Max can do on his best right now. A 139, and we're. But Nora is like 1.4 seconds slower than that. Okay, fair enough. Let's continue to Q2. Both cars are ready. Again, we're gonna do two flying laps. And let's put um, also seven degrees on the car of Daniel Ricciardo. Let's see what that does. No idea what it's gonna have any effect. Yeah, well, I see it in front of my screen right now, but let's see if he can do better with that. We'll see. I'm gonna run this plan. And we also gonna do like two flying laps with Norris. I'm not gonna change his setup. Alright. Everything is set up. 
It's up to you whether you manage the rest of the qualifying rounds. If you want, you can let the team take control, so you can focus on the upcoming race. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. I'm gonna simulate this session too. Or well, we're gonna simulate to the race, because I'm already living up to my own expectations, and I really want to get down to the race, so let's do that. Let's see where we ended up. I cannot check the results, I can only do that. Ah, here are the results. Well, we are. So, we are 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Okay. So, we survived Q2, but we never... So we survived Q3, but we never survived Q2, apparently. No problem, no problem. That's something we need to work on, so uh, let's continue. Race day has arrived, and the time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. McLaren did well during qualifying. They maximized their potential and are in a good position for the race today. We saw a reasonably good qualifying performance from Ferrari, and they certainly have a good chance to capitalize during the race. We've been having lovely clear weather, although there are a few clouds lurking. Hopefully, they'll stay in check for the duration of the race. And there's going to be a lot for the teams to handle. So will the drivers and their cars be able to cope with the pressure? Let's find out right here at the Bahrain here Grand Prix. Right then, time for the main event, the Bahrain Grand Prix. This is a great time for us to get some early points under our belt. So let's stay focused and push hard. I really would love to have some points in the first race, but I don't expect to earn them already so early in the season, but we'll see. So yeah, like the weather report already said, we got some sun and we got some cloud, but yeah, I don't expect any rain. So here we have our sponsored targets. Well, we reached Q2 in qualifying. Next race target, or next target, so the race target is to finish both. And this hot streak target, but yeah, that's uh, like finished 12th. Yeah, I'm not sure we reached that. But um, yeah, with this uh, first target in qualifying, we already uh, have a potential reward of a little under 150k dollars. So that's nice. I'm not going to guarantee that we finish. <laughs> I really don't dare to do that right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, I don't see... I have no reason to believe we're also gonna gain position. So let's say we're only gonna finish this race. It's our first race of the season. We'll uh, we'll see. Each driver will need to make at least one pit stop to fit new tires. On average, a pit stop will cost a driver about 25 seconds. So we need to think carefully about when to pit and why. Well, it's not the why. It's more the when. But sure, sure. Let's set a tyre strategy for our drivers now. We need to make sure we have a good plan for when yep. we want the cars to pit. So we're starting on soft, so we need to enter uh, the pit quite early. Every race weekend, the team will prepare some recommended strategies to choose from. Let's see what they suggest sure, for this sure. race. Okay. Strategy A is a fast but risky option, relying on two soft stints and no Yeah, that sounds risky indeed. Strategy B is a well-balanced option. Two soft stints and a nice long middle stint on a hard compound. Right. Strategy C is a slower but safe option for this track. We'll tackle the final stint on a medium compound instead of a soft. That track. also could be like an, uh, a strategy, but I really want to avoid the hard here. If you think a different approach could work, you can make changes to any of the team strategies or even... Yeah, I'm just going to select the presets now. I'm not going to change anything to, to make it myself too difficult. Uh, but I'm willing to take some risk here, though. Um, you on the right side, uh, we see the estimated, estimated race time. Um, this should be the quickest, they say. And there is a difference of like what seven seconds mm, okay but what i want to do is like put daniel ricciardo on the risky strategy so strategy a 
only driving on two softs and one medium in the middle of the race. Right. Strategy A it is. This is going to need careful management to pull off. So keep a close eye on things. Okay. Now to select a strategy for our other driver. It doesn't have no, to be the indeed. Same. So I'm going to do two different strategies for both drivers. Uh, let's select Lando Norris here. Okay, yeah, well, I don't want to have Stoffel von Dorn right now, so we're going to go obviously with Lando Norris. Uh, let's see how this works again. Here we've got the strategies. You should consider yep. picking a different strategy for each driver. This gives us a chance to take advantage of in race events and means we won't have both cars exactly. sitting on the same lap. Well, it could, but yeah, then we need to go more into details, but that we'll see later. So I'm going to put uh, Lando Norris on strategy B. He's going to also drive on two softs at the beginning and the end, but he is going to drive on the hard in the middle. That's both drivers with a set strategy in place. Right, let's head back to the preparation area okay, and get so this race started. Back. So, adjustments are locks. Norris has a 72% confidence, so I think he gained a little. Uh, although Danny Ricciardo lost some confidence, I believe that was 66% and now it's 63%. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe because we played with his front wing. So that could be a thing. Uh, driver options, have a look at that. But we're going on aggressive. Yeah, well, let's give him like the standard pace. Yeah, we're gonna put him on the standard. Let's see what this does. Harvest, neutral, deploy, defend, overtake. I'm just gonna put it on neutral because we already put him on a risky as they say on a risky strategy. So, that for Daniel Ricciardo. And for uh, Lando Norris, I'm gonna do a little more. I'm gonna put him on the attack mode. And he is also allowed to use some more fuel. And he is allowed to deploy his ERS modes more often. Okay, so two entirely different strategies, two entirely driving modes for both of our drivers. So uh, let's see how that's going to unfold in the race. The drivers are lined up tonight under mostly clear skies. Looking at Daniel Ricciardo. Slower than most yesterday, so today they'll be starting from the bottom half of the grid. Norris there, further down the grid. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them Indeed. and the podium. And we're just moments away now. And this is it. The okay, so already had our warm-up lap. Here we go. And it's lights out. And away we go! Okay, so we're both on the attack, different strategies, let's go! Gotta be careful here with the start. Oh wow, this is going slow. Oh, careful! Careful with that horse. Nice! Okay, good! Okay, let's see that replay. Oh, that's nicely! Daniel Ricciardo involved here. Okay, so the Haas moves out. Yeah, Ricardo can do this deep. He can really do some deep breaking. Alright, nice. Gained. Let's head back to the race. That was a big moment. The okay, so Norris on place 15. Chasing down Tsunoda and Mackinson. Got not that much on 
of a rubber on the track, but that's going to gain. Let's watch this race going to proceed. Got a track temperature of 33.2 degrees. Outside air, 23.8. It's all about surviving the first two or three laps, and we managed so far. So we got Norris on the aggressive mode, but I don't see anything yet so far. Okay, so he's now lining up a song long beside Tsunoda. Is he already going to do it here? Is he? Is he? Oh, yes! Nicely done from Lando Norris. Good. Nice, nice job, job indeed. Nice okay, job. so next on the line, Magnuson. DRSs are not open yet. And McLaren with a great overtake. Oh, Ricciardo has to be careful there. He managed. He managed. But he is on a heavy pressure from Magnuson, while Norris is also pressuring Magnuson. Okay, let's see if we can save Ricciardo out of this situation. Oh. During the race itself, you can direct the team drivers in three main ways. Each option will help drivers increase their speed, but will come with yeah, a cost obviously. in different areas. Increased pace will improve lap times, but at the cost of increased tyre temperature and wear, which can lead to more pit stops and mm -hmm. higher okay, risk of tyre failure. Downside has his upside and vice versa. You can instruct the drivers in how to manage their fuel. Using more fuel will give them more speed, but you need to ensure there's always enough left yep. to finish the race. As Reef, finally, you can adjust the ERS strategies for each driver. Higher ERS strategies give the driver a boost of power when racing, but will also drain the car's battery. Timing and battery management are everything here. So where were we? We were trying to uh, drive away from uh, Magnussen because Ricardo is under heavy pressure from Magnussen. Let's see if we can do something here. Managing yeah, I know how this works by now. Keep an eye on the tire condition of both cars. Over time, tire condition will fall, reducing their grip and performance, eventually leading to tire failures and car. So we're going to put Ricciardo on the aggressive mode with the RS. Use the pace now. Yep, understood. Fuel commands allow drivers to manage their car's fuel consumption. Just keep an eye on your remaining fuel. If we run out, the car will be forced to retire. Oh, Norris on the attack on Magnussen. And no, he didn't do it. Oh, okay. So we're gonna push Ricciardo too. If a driver needs an additional performance push for a short time, they can adjust their ERS strategies and use any battery charge they have. There are three ERS strategies that deploy more energy than they harvest, but each use that energy for a different purpose. Overtake and defend are best for getting ahead of cars or for keeping them behind you. Deploy is the fastest strategy available. Harvest will prioritize charging up the battery instead of using energy for performance. Neutral will maintain yeah, okay, the no, battery charge. So we're going to deploy also for Ricciardo to keep Magnuson behind us. Use the overtake button. Okay, so both are on the class of ERS mode right now. DRS is enabled. It is key that uh, Ricciardo keeps Magnuson behind and that Noro is going to overtake Magnuson. So that's our main goal for now. And maybe Ricciardo can get closer to Alonso, but we'll see. We're 1.2 seconds behind Alonso right now. Ricciardo needs to make sure he can get into the DRS zone of Alonso. And 
and again Norris is very close on Mackinson. Very, very close. Let's switch to Magnussen and Norris on the camera view. Oh, Lando is pushing there. Is he? Is he? Is he going to do it there? Is he going to do it there? Whoa. Okay, so now we're going to put Norris back. Okay, mate. Good job. Be careful with this tire. Go, Pat. I'm gonna leave them both in push right now. Okay, so Ricciardo has the time advantage on Alonso. Let's see if we can also pick up Alonso here. Deer has open. Ricciardo on, on the attack on Alonso. We'll see. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Magnus is also in the, on the back. On oh, Norris and he overtook Norris. Okay. Okay, no problem, no problem. Still early in the race, everything can happen. Whoa, Ricciardo on Alonso. And on Zhu. Ooh, gotta be careful there. Whoa. This is really good. Ricciardo really pushing there. I left the position by now. Good, good. McLaren gained the position. Rewatch. Here's the replay. Watch this. We're looking at Lando Norris. And regain his position on Magnetism. Okay, nice, good. Moving up a place there. Excellent work from them. Back to the race. The yeah, team I on. That. So we're 11th and 13th with Ricciardo and Norris. Norris really should pick up the pace. But we're also very heavy on the fuel load. Cannot continue to push this forever. But I'm really trying to get at least one of our drivers in the top 10 scoring our first points here of the season. Let's switch back to Norris, still on defense on Mackensen. Let's see if he can get close to Alonso. At least we're in the DRS zone. Okay, I'm gonna put a... As the race progresses, remember to keep an eye on the planned strategy you put in place before the race. The strategy view will let you check your strategy, adjust it, or even change it entirely. The data view is also an important area to track during the race. Okay, so I'm going to put um, a neutral for the ERS so we can collect more. But we still need to keep pushing to stay in front of Magnus and get Alonso. I'm also going to put Noros on a slightly neutral mode on the D on the ERS. But he sure needs to keep pushing, that's for sure. We're gonna put him on the aggressive. If you can push. And the cross will go slightly and save fuel from now, yeah, please. Save fuel not from saving, now. but at least keep pushing. I don't want to burn all my fuel that early in the race. Okay, so from here on uh, we're gonna pick up the pace a little. Also need to uh, keep an eye on our tires. Gotta speed up a little nudge. Okay, so 16 is the fastest we can do. Okay, sure. Still 11 and 13. So 
So my plan is to push after the first pit stops. Leclerc with the fastest race record or track time for now. Left time, I should say, by the way. Excuse me. Okay. Our driver has just entered the pit window. The pit window encompasses the laps that cover the planned pit stops mm -hmm. in your strategy. Fair this means it's nearly time to call the planned pit stop. Unless you think there's a reason to pit immediately, I always recommend sticking to the strategy and pitting on the optimal lap. Yeah, well, I'm going to stretch this soft area as long as we can. I mean, we're still in 11 and 30 for quite some laps now, so we're still doing a pretty good job. Also see that Ricciardo is like on 0.3 laps fuel laps and Norris is on exactly one lap so that left of course at least is working it's like a really a train uh, in front of us and that's starting with Gasly gonna speed up a little as long as we can stick on 11 and 13, it should be fine for now. The window mode for Norris is at least active. But we're gonna wait a little longer. Well, Alonso's really pushing on Ricciardo right now. Oh, Ricciardo is really defending hard there. Good, good. Gonna speed it a little up by notch. And then at the right time, we're gonna call in Norris. Okay, so we also entered the pit window for Ricciardo. Oh, and Max Verstappen just. Entered the track again right behind Ricciardo. Yeah, we're never gonna manage to keep him behind us. I'm also not gonna try it because our pit window is coming. And of course, Rebels much faster than us, so there's no need to try. We're not gonna gain anything on that. But Ricciardo is on 10 right now. But that's because we have. Red Bull of stuff behind it, so that makes sense. Let's speed it up, waiting for Norris to enter his perfect pit window. And that's gonna be the next lap, probably. Okay, so now we enter the optimal pit stop lap. So, right, let's talk tires during dry races. All yeah, cars that I know. Cheese, at least two. Ultimately, it's your decision on which tire compounds we go. Once you've decided which tire but to move, but we already to, just discussed this pre-race, right? Or am I just now being? Yeah, he's going so hard. I mean, that's our pit stop strategy. So we're gonna not gonna deviate from that. And we're gonna call him in. Oh, back to Stapper. Heavy on Ricciardo. Box this lap. Box this lap. But he doesn't manage. Yeah, I confirm. Happy to box at the end. Okay, so. Ocon has okay, also Ocon, pitted. Okay, there are a lot of people in the pits right now. Russell in the pits. Ocon. Schumacher. Moving up some places, but yeah, that's just virtual. We're not gaining anything right now. Now we need a little, wait a little longer until we enter the optimal pit window for Ricciardo 2. And that's gonna still. We're gonna need to wait for that for two more laps. The air has open for everyone because we're still in that train in front of Zhao. 
nothing's gained here, obviously. But yeah, that's definitely a fact Max Verstappen. Because everyone has that DRS. Oh, he's close on Ricciardo. <laughs> he really wants to get past. Which is obviously. Okay, so pit window coming for Norris. Oh, is Max Verstappen gonna do this? Late braking perhaps? Nope. He's still stuck. Okay, there's Norris coming into the pits. If I'm right, is that gonna happen? Yeah, here we go. Together with Alonso. Okay. And just remind you, the Leclerc in the pit, pit Perez, Alonso, Norris, and Magnussen. Here we go. Everything should be good here. No weird things. Going hard. 2.7. Okay, nice. And we're out again. Did we gain some places there? No, we didn't. Okay, good. All entered and exited in the same order. Nothing changed there. Okay, so now we're gonna push again with Norris. Fresh tires, longer stint. He's gonna be on deploy with the ERS. Active of an aggressive pace, he's gonna push. The car tires are overheating. As the cars spend more time on track, make sure you keep an eye on their condition. This all looks great. No damage that I can see to any components. Just make sure to keep an eye on car condition as the race progresses. Okay, yeah, figured, but we're gonna call him in. Copy. So I need no. to look after these tires. Still have some time. Okay, so the ERS of the battery is already so we're gonna put Norris back on neutral. And we're gonna put Ricardo on the medium tire. And he's gonna pit this lap. He still is! Hey Daniel, we're bumps this lap. <laughs> it this amazes lap. me, he still keeps stopping behind him, so... Okay, of course, you still have the DRS on uh, uh, on Zhao, which is still in front of Ricardo. But yeah, Max Verstappen can really not pass Ricardo at this moment. But I really want Norris to push uh, for Ocon and Gasly. I mean, Zhao still needs to stop. I think. Sonona still needs to stop. For stop and Perez already pitted. Both of them. That also counts for both of the McLaren, uh, for both of the Ferraris and the Mercedeses. Ricciardo is pushing there, but he's not gonna get past. Nope. So, Norris is actually gaining on Ocon. We look at the time screen. Oh, wrong button. Here we have like the tire setup. Okay, so Ricciardo is coming into the pits. Here okay, we go. Okay. Oh, Zhao is coming with us. Let's see if we can gain something here. Probably not. Everything needs to be perfect here. Nice and clean. Where is Zhao? Where is Zhao? Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Oh, nice. Oh, that's a perfect pit stop. Nice. Okay, so we gained on Zhao. So we actually gained the place. And Ricciardo is now behind Norris. 
and that's due because he was driving longer on that softer tire and we put Norris on the harder tire soon but yeah we're on 11 and 12 now so yeah we actually gained some places from the start and this is the standing as it is right now after 19 laps so we're gonna give Ricciardo some more instructions he's allowed to push both are on neutral ERS and from here on we uh, we're gonna speed it up a little again. Oh, what happened there? I think there's been a lock up. Oh, let's see what happened let's there see indeed. What happened there. Now just take a look at the McLaren. Oh. Whoa. Well, they've locked up. They won't have been happy about that. Okay, what happened? Okay. At least we're in the points with Ricciardo and Nord dropped back to 15th. Okay, so that's just the balance of the car. I'm not blaming Norris for that, but yeah. Okay, so Norris already gained. Indeed, Sonoda so boxed it, therefore, we gained one place with Norris. Let's go to the intervals. Ricciardo is really onto Ocon. Let's see if we can do something there. He's allowed to deploy it. Okay, use the Let's see if we can get past Ocon. Roger. Maybe here. Probably not. Looks like the battery is drained. Okay, so that didn't work. Oh, what am I doing? Play mode. Well, actually, we're already in the top 10 with Ricciardo. Let's see what we can do. Norris is really using a lot of fuel. McLaren. Okay, we're at 8 at the moment. Okay, we're gonna keep... Alpha Tower regained a place! Okay, we're already... Sector... Yellow sector, I didn't know what happened there. Okay, Let's what happened there? Let's take a look. Now have a watch of this. Oh, like Colin with a very ambitious overtake on Ricciardo. No problem. Was that a lockup on the track? Bottle with a lockup. Ricciardo? Okay, so... Someone spun out. Ooh. Ricciardo ran wide a little. They've gone wide! No problem. Just keep it steady. I'm gonna... Put Ricciardo back on neutral with his ERS, which is still on an aggressive racing mode. Let's see if we, what we can do from standard. I mean, we okay, keep looking after the tires. Still need to look at after the tires, okay. but also our fuel consumption. Just be careful with this tire. Okay, yeah, compared. Okay, let's speed it up. Gasly's still steady behind Ricciardo, even walking, driving away from Gasly. And Norris is still like. Focus on fuel for now, please. Come here. Yeah, that we should really take a look at. But yeah, Norris is uh, 8.3 seconds behind Xiao, but he's also not gaining at the moment. But yeah, we need to be careful here. He's even losing. Yeah, yeah, he's losing. Okay, so we're losing track position or time positions on Zhao, and we lost a place. Whoa! Uh, look after the fuel. Yep. Yeah, understood. 
Good job. McLaren, gain a position. We're gonna put him on balance. Although we don't have that luxury, but yeah, we uh, still need to be careful. Alonso is really pushing behind Ricciardo. And he got Ricciardo. Alpine just and I guess he's also pushing on Ricciardo now, so that's gonna be an overtake. Who's running wide there? I think we're also gonna enter the Also need to have a look on our pit stop strategy for our second run. Let's see how far or how much people already pitted. Okay, so up so far, still so far, everyone just pitted one time. Oh, Alonso is coming. And there he goes on Ricciardo. Maybe together with Gasly? No, Gasly stays behind Ricciardo. But uh, yeah, Norris is uh, driving a lonely race. That's a good overtake from Alpine. Yeah, we really need to be careful with Norris here. I'm going to put him on his uh, conserve with his fuel. Otherwise, this is going to be tricky at the end of the race. And save fuel from now, please. Save but fuel he, from now. He's going to be on a pace, on an aggressive pace. Maximum pace. Let's see if we can yeah, uh, balance that out a little bit. But uh, Ferrari is really driving away from uh, from Red Bull and from Mercedes. Although Mercedes are, are pretty under Red Bulls. I mean, there's Russell or Hamilton and they're only two seconds behind Red Bull. Okay, so the pit window is coming. Here we go. And we're gonna put Ricciardo on a softer tire. It's already scrubbed in with 95%. So that's gonna be his tire. We box this lap. Yep, box up. I'm still a little worried about um, Norris. Gotta put him back on standard. Because you really need to save some fuel over there. I'm gonna wait for the pit stop for Norris. Okay, so. Someone's run wide. Okay, so Ricciardo just pitted. We entered the track again at the 12th position. Let's see what he can do on the softer tire. We still have everything balanced out for him for fuel and pace and such but maybe we can gain some more places on that softer tire oh well we actually did we actually did on Zhao again okay so we're battling him already for quite some time on this track today okay now I'm gonna be careful because Norris has to be come, has to come in Um, let's see how we did that again. Here we're going to the pit options. And he is gonna be on the soft Atari, also 95%, so that means that he also scrubbed in. He's gonna pit this lap and we're gonna continue with this race from now on. Here we go. Almost lost. Yeah, confirm. Happy to box at the end. Almost missed that opportunity. And the show over to Ricciardo again. And here yeah, we go. Norris entering okay, the pit lane by now. And just remind you, he's a pit Going from the harder tire to the soft tire. Uh, yeah, to the soft tire. 
lot of camera angles here. They really did it nicely. And away we go again. We also see that uh, the track temperature uh, went down a little, with one degree Celsius. But yeah, the track rubber is high. We got high track drip, so. Nicely done, Daniel. Nicely, nicely done. done indeed. Overtake. Let's see what we can do from here. Gonna speed it up a little. Oh, from Schumacher. Let's see what happened there. Let's have a look. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. And oh. this. Yes, there. Whoa. That's the lockup. Yeah, that's a major lockup indeed. Okay, gonna speed it up a little. Up to left 50, and then let's see if we can push a little. A position gained for and Alfa Romeo. See if we can do something. You know what? I'm gonna put him already on an aggressive mode. I really wanna ha have that Need first to point. Yep, understood. And Norris is still on the progressive. I'm gonna put him back on balance. And let's see what we can do. So we got Ricciardo in 10th, 11th. So he constantly battling it out. McLaren constantly battling it out with Zhao, but he really needs to drive away from that. If already possible. Alfa Romeo just moved up a place. Oh, what happened there? Who was that? Okay, so that was Norris. Really need to be careful there. And that's the yeah, we saw that. I don't need a replay of that. But Ricciardo is constantly battling with Shao. And I really would love to have that 10th place. So I'm gonna put him. Yeah, I'm not. No, not yet. Not yet. I'm gonna wait a little. But I'm gonna put him on the uh, deploy mode. A couple of laps. Fuel's getting low. Yeah, I saw that come. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put you back on on surf because I'm really afraid we're not gonna manage that. We're gonna keep an eye on Ricciardo. Fuel's also getting low for Ricciardo. You know that. I really hope we're gonna we're gonna make it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put Ricciardo overtake, overtake button take indeed. Button. Let's see if we can get Chow and okay, maybe we I'm can sure. still drive away. And we're going in the only attack mode. But in the meantime, we need to conserve. Let's try and push up. Let's see if that works out. Okay, understood. Come on, Ricciardo. Couple of laps. Okay, so this is not working. Seems to have been a lockup. So we're gonna put him back on balance. We're still on the attack mode. And we're going on overtake. Come on, Ricardo, you can do this. Here we go. 10th place. Let's drive away. Come on, keep that 10th place. We can do this. Oh, that's. Oh, no, no! Copy. Why, Ricciardo? Oh no, we lost it. Okay, we're not gonna end in the points. Uh, you're kidding! Yeah, you know what? Oh, oh, that's such a shame. Go back to conserve, harvest. Yeah, well, put it back in neutral. Gold standard. 
And just finish the trade. Oh, we could have scored our first points here. Relatively low grip. Nothing, nothing too special to say. Yeah, that's not really the input nothing. I need or want or I, I can work with. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, that's such a shame. Oh, we could have scored points here. Oh. Oh well, we need to work from here. Just uh, one a lap down. Okay, mate. Two laps to go. After this one, indeed. Okay, understood. And here we are at the finish. At least the last lap, sorry, it's not the finish, it's the last lap. But if we're gonna finish, at least we bo finish both with both cars. At our first race as being a team principal, so... Uh, at least that expectation has been met up then. Oh, I'm really down about Ricciardo, I really wanted to have that first point at our first race. Oh well, it is what it is. Gonna speed it up a little. And there in the background, the two Ferraris on the main straight finishing this race. Both Ferraris on the podium, Verstappen third. That's Leclerc. Show Leclerc yes, he is. Like us in look at the, replay. This the first is. year's race, win, as in real life. Leclerc. And is thoroughly deserved. A hugely talented driver and undoubtedly a worthy winner. There he is, Charles Leclerc. Nice job, nice job. But now we still need to finish. Let's speed it up a little. So Norris finished 15, Ricciardo uh, yeah, is coming in. There's Norris. And Ricciardo coming on the finish line right here. Okay, that's the check. See what plan. he has to do, what has to say. I'll, uh, I'll yeah, yeah, I hope you do. I really hope that you do. We could have scored points here. Oh, wow, okay, so. Throwing <laughs> it out. Okay, so he's. Clearly not happy. McLaren showed some good stuff here today, but they'll be building on that now to try and improve their oh, results. Oh yeah, we next surely time. will. They've displayed some moments of quality here. All they need now is some fine tuning to achieve great things. After the race, they sit in seventh place in the constructors' standing. Could have been worse. The teams now look ahead to the next round, where they'll duel it out in the sand dunes of Saudi Arabia. And here is the official classification. So Charles Leclerc won this race in front of Carlos Sainz. Oh, okay, so they even switched places. Okay, I missed that apparently. Max Stappen's third on the podium and after that everything else. We're gonna look at our own drivers. Uh, London North started at 15 and finished at 15. And Ricciardo uh, gained two places, started at 14 and finished at 12. So it's not a bad race, but yeah, we, uh, we really should build here and then we continue later in the season. Let's see how we can move on from here. Drivers' Championship, like the usual, I'm not gonna say anything about that. 
this is more interesting. Ferrari 44 points, Red Bull 27, Mercedes 18. And this is, oh, this bugs me. I really wanted to have like one point here or maybe two, but maybe next time, no problem. The team's drivers gain experience over each race weekend, depending on their performance. With enough experience, your drivers will be able to improve their skills. Let's see, so road potential 0.5, that's not a lot to be honest, but yeah, he's also more experienced and older. Uh, growth potential for London Nord of 1.3, also gained more experience here, so uh, yeah, nothing to add to that. Let's see, this is more likely to be important. Driver bonuses, yeah, we don't have any driver bonuses. Sponsor bonuses, yes, we have because we met some targets. We got uh, the Q2, and huh? then we uh, finished and enter, uh, entered and finished. And we also finished both cars for this race. So, yeah, we uh, lived up to the expectations of the sponsor. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get some money here. But that's actually nice. Yep. That could have gone better. The board's confidence probably took a dip. You may want to check the board menu for more information. Still, that's the first race weekend done, and there will be plenty of time to improve. Oh, yes. Take a look at what you can be doing before the next race weekend gets here. Our time is precious, and these moments between races are a good point to develop our team further. That suspension we installed before the race was really effective. And the design of the new car park yes, is okay. still in progress. Clear. You're pretty much ready to handle things yourself now. Our staff and facilities have a significant impact on the team's performance. When you get a chance, you should check these areas out on your own. I will. If you ever find yourself yeah, okay. needing any further... Okay, I need to head back over to Aerodynamics. I'll be in touch again now and then. And I'm looking forward to the team thriving with you. Thank you very much. So, inbox, let's see what we have here. Of an upcoming driver, our scouts have been looking out for an upcoming talent for Isaac Hajar and is standing out as having a lot of potential. Okay, he's driving an F3. Okay, I never heard of him, but that's more from me to blame. Post race overview. Okay, let's see what they have to say here. After qualification, P2 on Saturday, Charles Leclerc was able to send it in. Well, they haven't heard any points so far. There's a lot of concentration around McLean this year. The world is watching their progress. Okay, so this is more like... Uh, oh, he has already says it's like a Formula 1 reporter. Yeah, I don't care about that, to be honest. A difficult race for us. This is the board repres uh, representative. We have some bad races, but yeah, we, uh, we're building on that. No problem. And the post... Race debrief. Let's see. Do we get some more? Okay, let's see if we can design of get that new part. I mean that suspension is still progress. That I'm gonna do next time. Going back to the menu. Let's see what we still have here. We got our sponsorship obligation that's coming up. Not sure what this is. Can I go to there? That, I mean, that's happening tomorrow, at least on the calendar. And here we have our staff. I'm gonna dive in that more in the next episode, but. Um, I want to have one quick look at our finances because something happened over there, obviously. Got an income. We started with 15.7 before the race and we earned 3.7 after the race. So we gained some more income again. Maybe we can spend that again, um, again more uh, on our facilities and maybe already looking for uh, an audit head of design or, or, or the engine department or whatever uh, we're gonna take a look at that in the next episode but um, yeah 
I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy for our uh, first race. Yeah, well, not entirely. I really want to have that point, but it is what it is. But uh, yeah, I really hope that you uh, enjoyed this video as much as I did. And uh, yeah, if you did, then uh, it would be nice. I would get a like and you can also leave a comment in the section below. And then we're going to continue in our next video and then we're going to Jeddah. And that's already four days from now on this calendar and I'm really looking forward for that and see if we can do better. So yeah, that's in store for you in our next episode and in that time we'll see each other later. See ya!